So I took some time today for myself and I'm at the inspiration station. Just perusing. Spooky. We got a huge selection of Tim Holtz stuff. Yes, because the class is 32. Our lawn guys are here to do the clean fall cleanup. They're gonna mow, suck up leaves, and that's gonna be it for this. So I'm gonna go show you what I got in my shopping. So I did a quick shop at uh, Veggie World or just a couple of staples. Um, sandwich stuff for Polly for work, roast beast and American. Cheese, yellow, not orange. Orange just has food coloring added to it. Milk's not yellow, or milk's not orange. It's this like white, whitey, whitish color. So yeah, let's, I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> um, dates on the stem, really pretty. Uh, my favorite pumpkin seeds, some green wasabi peas, roasted seasoned um, seaweed sheets, a butternut squash, some leeks and scallions. I think I'm gonna make leek and potato soup tomorrow, maybe with some crusty croutons, something hearty for Meatless Monday. I picked up a persimmon, which I'm probably going to eat shortly. Paulie's not really a big fan of it. I don't know. I don't care if he is, I'm gonna eat it all by myself because it was $1.29 and I don't wanna go to bed. Um, and so I also picked up beautiful orange pepper, a couple of Vidalia onions, some lemons because I cannot live without lemons, and some fresh bananas because the bananas that I have on hand right now, you're gonna get all grossed out and appalled, but that's what they look like. But that's okay, I'm going to peel them and stash them in the freezer for my juice drinks, which is perfectly fine by me. So they're not gonna go, they're not going to go to waste. So yeah, I'm gonna put away what, what's perishable, leave the rest out, and go do my Inspiration Station haul while it's quiet and Polly's not home and the TV's not on. Although, you'll hear the lawn people doing the fall cleanup outside. Just fine by me, because the chickens are all closed up for the day, they're all fed, Polly got some chicken food, um, he put away the hose, which was great. Brought the air conditioner downstairs, I'm doing laundry. What else do we have to do? Um, I emptied the fridge downstairs that had some stuff that had to be tossed out. So yeah, we're kind of on track. So um, I'm just washing blankies now from the living room, which is kind of a challenge because everybody's trying to hide under blankets because we don't get our oil delivery until tomorrow or maybe Tuesday. And it's a little nippy. It's about 54 degrees in the living room. <sighs> yeah, didn't plan well, but it's okay. Everybody's dressed and those who can't wear clothes in front of the little space heater so they're okay and I have one for upstairs in case we need it and um, one for my office for tomorrow or I just might work in the living room I'll just grab my laptop and work in the living room which is also an option so yeah um, off to my office to do the um, inspiration station hall oh my gosh I really need to go there more often I keep forgetting how much good stuff they have and Debbie and I think Kim were there um, Debbie was doing a uh, demo on a bow tying tool so yeah I think next time I just need to plan ahead and let everybody know when one went damn going if anybody wants to join me because I kind of gave a quick shout out on Facebook but a lot of people already had plans understandably it's Sunday so all right let's go to my office well I just did a video of all the stuff that I got inspiration station and I really need to get some more videos done but now my throat is all tickly so I think I'm gonna go make some tea and get the blankies out of the dryer <clears throat> or into the dryer in the basement oh losing my voice so yeah it's like the day is flying by that's okay and I have to pick out a new book to read because I read every book I had on my kindle as a matter of fact I think I read one book just yesterday yeah nuts so yeah let's go make some tea so I thought since I already still, well, since I still have some stuff on my desk, I'm going to play around with some things, um, including this food and fun journal. Uh, record notes about your favorite wines, bars, and restaurants. It's so stinking cute. So I'm going to keep this in my glove compartment in my car. Usually when Polly and I are out, we take my car because his car is a colossal mess. But um, let me show you inside. So 
who it belongs to. And there's a section for um, wine, restaurants, and bars. Sorry. Give you a better view of it. So um, I'm not a wine connoisseur. However, Polly does drink wine and he enjoys red wine, which would be nice. Like, there's certain champagnes that I drink. So that'll be nice to keep on hand too because then it won't be a guessing game. Oh, do you remember that wine that you really liked? This way it will be all here. So that's the wine section and there's a restaurant section. And it's a two-page layout. So the restaurant name, location, website, whatever, phone number, and then uh, the ratings. <laughs> so fit for a king, like it, just so-so, never again. Um, based on some friends' uh, posts on Facebook, Dave and Buster's would be a never again. Or as um, how did Gordy put it, he would rather be in lockup. <laughs> um, and it's funny, we were just talking about it too. Polly and I were just talking about Dave and Buster's because they just opened one near us. And I said, and this is exactly what I said to him, and it kind of strikes me as a Chuck E. Cheese for adults. Neither are the games nor the food are any good, but it's just a place to hang out. Anyway, and so it proved to be accurate. And then the cost uh, broke the bank for um, um, moderate, inexpensive, dirt cheap. Uh, and then the type American, Chinese, Italian, Mexican, casual, fast food, French, or other. Uh, when you visited, what we ate, notes. I don't know. I might even include a little Instagram picture if I think of it because you can print those off. So that's the restaurant one. And then the bars, which it's not like we're bar flies or anything, but we do go out. And um, for example, I went. we went to Carabas for lunch the other day. Um, that was the choice between, well, it's not the choice between Dave and Buster's and Carabas, but we were in the neighborhood where both were. And I said, oh, let's go to Carabas and get some appetizers. And I ended up having a drink, which was very nice. We sat at the bar. We usually do if it's just the two of us and they have a bar. You always get, uh, I we find that we get better service. So I had a taste of Tuscany, which I did post a picture of on Instagram. It's um, limoncello, um, prosecco, topped off with prosecco and um, splash of cranberry. It was delicious over ice. So bar, location, um, ratings, the place to be, liked it just so, never again, and then the same cost ones, and there it's one per page. And there's plenty here for each section. And then at the very end, it's so cute, there's a little um, pocket sleeve, which I think the only thing I might do is use my circle punch to um, get a finger tab in, so it'll be easier uh, on the front to open it up, as you can see, with just a little bit of a struggle. And it's front, this little book is from Hallmark, and it cost um, $1.50. Originally $8 in the U.S., $9.99 in Canada, and it was $1.50 at Ocean State job lot. So, nice hard cover. I'm going to peel this off and pop it in my glove compartment. So, I'm going to go and play for a little bit so I have some, so I could stick to my goal of using my supplies at, within a week of purchasing them, or at least testing, test driving them. So I have all of the stuff from um, Inspiration Station to play with, which I've already started in so my little shopping list or my to-do list and I stamped some stuff. So that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and giving me company and coming along with me to Inspiration Station. Don't forget the links to the haul video will be below. Um, don't forget the thumbs up. It's free and it spreads the word. And really, why wouldn't you want to share something fun if you enjoyed it? So there you go. That's it. I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone.